Good morning, you guys. Today's Thursday. Starting the vlog in the car because I didn't make coffee this morning. I got coffee. And this is what I got. I woke up super late today because I was up from like 3.30 to like almost 6. Weirdest sleeping schedule that I've gotten myself into, but went back to sleep around 6 and then slept until like 10. Which isn't the best because I have a lot of things I need to do today. I need to edit two videos. I need to post stuff on Poshmark because I am going to be buying some new clothes for work soon for my internship I'm starting in the spring. And you guys know when I get clothes, I like to get rid of clothes. I also got this new Lululemon stuff, so I want to get rid of some other like old active gear that I don't really wear as much. So got a list of stuff on Poshmark have to did I say clean I need to clean and I'm going to a holiday party tonight of the office that I used to work at I still go to some of the functions that the office holds and I'm still in touch with people who work there I mean my dad and my aunt work there so obviously I'm in touch with them but I'm still like involved in stuff but I am gonna go inside now and get cracking on my to-do list my hair whoa out of this world Okay, finished editing that video, uploaded it. But I just wanted to talk a little bit because I just watched Brooke's video and maybe you saw me when I was cleaning and she was kind of addressing like the comments she gets about school and all that stuff. And I wanted to talk about that too. Not because it happens on my channel, you guys are the best. But regarding what Brooke was saying, I think it's so crazy how when you put your life on the internet, by vlogging or doing a podcast like she does, you know, whatever you're doing on the internet, people suddenly feel like because you posted a video, now they have the right to know everything about your life and the right to comment on it. Which, like, there's a right to comment, but you don't, you have no right to be rude on the internet. And you would think with all the things that go on in today's day and age with the internet, you know, bullying, people killing themselves because of the bullying that they receive over the internet, people would be more weary to leave these awful comments or just to judge, but they aren't. Like what Brooke was talking about is like people accuse her of being, you know, a bad student or not smart, like because she didn't go to one class or whatever. Obviously, the people leaving these comments didn't go to college or whatever, but it's pretty common for people to not go to class all the time, especially when you go to a big college. So, I don't know. It just annoys me. I have gotten some of that stuff before, like, not about skipping class because I can't skip class in law school, but um, about grades, you know, people feel entitled to know, like, what I got at my LSAT. That was a big issue last year. Everyone felt like they needed to know what I got on my LSAT, but that's like no one's business. You wouldn't go up to someone you barely know in real life and be like, oh, what'd you get on the LSAT? You just wouldn't do that. And if you would do that, you need to look into how to be a normal person because you wouldn't do that. And what shocks me even more is when people leave rude comments, like actually rude comments, not just like, you know, could be construed as rude or I'm not talking about constructive criticism either, but leave a rude comment and then they make YouTube videos. Like you click on their channel and most of the time rude comments are like anonymous channels. You know, they're no picture, not a real name, nothing on the channel. But what shocks me is when people leave a rude comment and they make YouTube videos. I'm like, so would you want me to go on your channel and leave a nasty comment that makes you feel bad about yourself? No. And if you have nothing better to do in your day than to leave a rude comment insulting someone's intelligence or insulting anything about them, like, just get a life, you know, get a hobby. Maybe you should make YouTube videos so we can go comment on your life. 
So I just felt bad that Brooke had to make that video because she's such a nice girl. Honestly, one of the nicest YouTubers that I've ever really spoken to. She shouted me out on her podcast. She, I think she shouted me out on Instagram. She followed me on Instagram. She's such a nice girl. I mean, honestly, it's hard to find YouTubers who are bigger like her who are actually nice and generally like want to be someone's friend and will give you like a shout out. I don't know why when some YouTubers, you know, make it past a certain amount of subscribers, they do not want to shout anyone out. They don't want to, you know, give anyone the time of day. They think they're like entitled to the world now. Brooke is such a nice girl. I don't know. I just think that's so, so ridiculous. The internet is so crazy that people really think that they're entitled to know everything about your life. Off of that rant, I straightened my hair because it was looking a little crazy and I'm going to go to the mall now and get some Christmas presents. I didn't feel like doing my makeup so I figured if I did my hair, kind of evens it out. I am going to change though because I wore this sweater yesterday to TJ Maxx. I was literally dripping sweat but I couldn't take it off because I just had a sports bra underneath. I was dripping sweat and I like left the TJ Maxx like blasted my AC and it was like 20 degrees outside. So love this sweater, but it's definitely not something you should like wear outside the house unless it's really cold. I have really just like one or two stores to go to. I need to get something. I know what I'm getting my nieces. Um, I'm doing an experience as you guys suggested. So I don't really have to get them anything because an experience, I'm going to like make a card sort of that'll show what we're going to do. Lily will get it. Mia probably won't get it because she's like three years old, but you know, Lily can explain it to Mia. And then I have to get something for Sophia, Martina's daughter, and I don't know what to get her either. I was thinking of going to Justice because Sophia's like three, almost, she'll be four in June. So I feel like Justice, you know, she's approaching that age where Justice is like the store. And then I had to go to two other stores, but I can't say where because then the person will know exactly what I'm getting them. And then I'm going to come home, list my stuff on Poshmark and have a pile over there of things. And then it'll probably be time to get ready. I'm assuming that this party starts at 5.30. I emailed one of my coworkers or my old coworkers, 5.30, okay. So we'll have to leave here around five. So I will talk to you guys later. Um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to rant about that. After I watched her rant, I was like, I wanna rant too. <laughs> so I did. I'm gonna go change now and show you the outfit before I go. And then we're going to the mall. All right, you already know what outfit I'm wearing. My Lululemon outfit and my Steve Madden shoes. Um, before, if we get any weird comments, I did wash this shirt yesterday, so don't come for me. I probably wouldn't have washed it if it didn't have a stain on it. So, I mean, that's the tea, but no, I did wash it. Didn't wash the leggings though, because I don't, I feel like the more you wash leggings, the quicker they fall apart. So considering, as we've talked about in the last video, I barely move and I definitely don't sweat, I'll probably wash them after this time. I feel like leggings, you know, I wear them like three times before I wash them. So that seems about pretty average. As long as like they don't have a stain or I didn't actually work out, but you know, that's 2019 Grace. 2019 Grace works out, not 2018. <laughs> but this is my outfit. I'm going to go to the mall. Let's hope it's not crazy, packed, whatever. Peach is chilling, of course. What else should she be doing? Poshmark mess. And that's it. Watching Abby's Q&A and working on my Poshmark. Um, I'll show it to you on my phone, but... I mean, I'm sure you guys know what Poshmark is, but it's just basically an app. Where's my phone? It's an app that you use to sell clothes makeup, electronics, like whatever you really want to sell, you can sell on Poshmark. It's the only app or website that I use to sell my stuff because um, I can never figure out shipping. That's my problem when I sell things is I don't understand like which is the cheapest way to ship, how to do it. So if you sell something on Poshmark, Poshmark automatically sends you a USPS label and it's already paid for, the buyer pays for shipping and you just put it on a box and you send your stuff. So you don't have to worry about any of that. So this is my closet. I have some cute stuff on there right now. I'm actually going to list more stuff. I'll show you that in a second. Then you can like follow people. It's kind of like Instagram. You follow people and you know, you see what they're selling and you can buy stuff from here or, you know, search for things if you're looking for something specific. 
I will have a link down below if you guys want to download Poshmark. If you don't have it already, I'm sure most of you do. And if you want to comment your Poshmark username, so you want to sell some stuff or you guys want to buy some stuff, you can look down below and see everyone's username. They have like really nice designer stuff on here. They have Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all designer stuff. They also have inexpensive stuff. You can buy Lululemon. My friend actually always buys her Lululemon on here because you know, it's a lot cheaper than buying it brand new. So that's good. I mean, obviously we love a deal. So I'll show you what I'm going to list on Poshmark today. I already took all the pictures while my camera was charging. So these are a pair of 90 degree leggings they are capri length they're like three quarter length and they're actually reversible so they have this heather blue and then the other side is kind of like a chevron then i'm selling a pair of high-waisted denim jeans from charlotte russe the three button ones size six these are really cute leggings from victoria's secret um they're kind of like leggings but then they're kind of like sweatpants because they have this drawstring they just really are not flattering on me because they're not really high-waisted enough but they're cute these are size medium, and then these are workout leggings from Aeropostale, which I love. They have this like cross hatching. These are actual capris. They're kind of short. Heather gray, what size? These are a large. Then I'm selling this Hollister, kind of like A-line drawstring tank top. It just doesn't look good on my body type. Selling this tube top, which is really cute, but I'm just not a strapless shirt kind of gal. Um, it's strapless, but you could also use these strings in the front to make it a halter top, and it is cropped. So, this will be like $2. I mean, I got it at Kmart, and I know a lot of people like don't like Kmart, but it was a Selena Gomez line, and I used to be such a stan. So, we got that. Victoria's Secret t-shirt. I'm selling this pencil case that I bought on a whim like three years ago and literally never used. I'm selling this card holder from Target. This will be like $5 as well. I just don't use it anymore. And then I'm selling this, what I thought was a bodysuit that I got from um, Shein or Romway. I think I got it from Romway. It's a lace bodysuit and it has like these ribbons on top. And I bought it thinking it was a bodysuit, but it doesn't have a clip at the bottom, so if you wanted to wear this with jeans, you'd have to literally take off your all your clothes to go to the bathroom. So I think it's supposed to be more like intimate wear, so I've never worn it. So if you wanna buy that, but just know that it doesn't have a clip at the bottom, and I've never worn it, so don't be alarmed. Um, and it's been washed as well, so. So that's all the stuff I'm selling. I. You guys know my motto, when I buy new clothes, I have to get rid of old clothes, whether I donate them, sell them, give them to someone, but I gotta get rid of stuff because I just can't keep collecting items. Poshmark, check off my list. Christmas shopping, check off my list. Clean, check. Edit a video, check. I have to actually edit another video because the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow, I need to edit. Because since I'm going to that Christmas party tonight, I'm not quite sure what time we'll get home. And I don't want to have to edit in the morning again like I did today. So I am going to start editing. I wrapped another Christmas present. So the tree is looking good. I can't put any presents right there because that's where Peach sleeps. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I love when the tree has presents under it. That's when it actually looks the best. Anywho, I'm going to go edit now and continue charging this battery because I only charged it for like a half hour.
just gonna keep my hair straight. I didn't realize how long my hair has gotten because I haven't worn it straight in so long. I pretty much always have it curly or I braid it or it's just in a ponytail. I haven't, you know, worn it like this in a while other than last weekend and I can't believe how long my hair got. This time last year my hair was like this short, like to my collarbone. So it has grown like six inches almost in a year. That's crazy. And I got a lot cut off in August. I don't know. I've always had pretty fast growing hair, which is good since I have a big bald spot over here. So I'm going to get dressed in a second. I have to wait for my setting spray to dry or also to get all over the sweater. And then I'm going to change. And then me and Jesse are going to go to Target because he's getting an ugly Christmas suit because we're going to his brother's ugly Christmas sweater party on Saturday. So Jesse, of course, needs to wear an ugly suit. And I'm going to take his old ugly Christmas vest because I don't feel like buying anything so that's on Saturday maybe I'll vlog that day who knows but and then we're going to the Christmas party so I'll update you guys after I change and show you my outfit and then we'll be on our way okay I am ready you guys have seen this outfit before if you watched my express haul a while ago but I'm just wearing this button-down shirt with pink blazer jeans and these boots I kind of feel weird like the boots don't go or something maybe I should just wear my plain ones because it feels kind of like gothic for some reason with these boots I don't know but this is generally what I'm wearing all right we just got oh it's so annoying we just got a target no ugly Christmas suits for Jesse I didn't feel like buying an ugly Christmas sweater there because Target's ones are like $35. That's that's too much. I'm just going to go to Walmart tomorrow or Kmart and get one for like $15. I do not want to spend money on it because you like wear it once. did get Sophia a present though, which was good. And then Lily and Mia are still, you know, there was nothing applicable there for them. But did get Sophia a present. So now the only people left on my list are Lily and Mia. I figured I'd update you. Jesse's just texting his uncle back, which he's been saying he has to do for like three days. Yeah. And we're just waiting and then we're gonna go. Probs won't vlog at the uh, Christmas dinner party, whatever. We're gonna leave the parking lot, get stuck in traffic. Okay guys, we just got home. It's like around eight o'clock. Clearly I just washed my face and whatever. I am really tired for some unknown reason since I got up at eight or 10 o'clock this morning, but I'm going to go to bed. I might go to bed. I mean, probably watch a few episodes of House and then go to bed. And then I will start vlogging again tomorrow as the deal goes. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you aren't. And I'll see you again in the next one. Peace out. Oh, I don't know what you've been told, but this guy right here is gonna